Very good morning to you once again. If you're just joining us, well, you are on time for the first in, uh, conversation of the day. And we want to explore the pharmaceutical industry and how you can uh, see your career growth in this particular sector. And uh, for this particular conversation, I've been joined by James Marita, who is the CEO, who is a CEO and youth advocate. Uh, he's the CEO of Damcare Pharmaceuticals Limited. Karibu sana. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. I'm glad also to be here for the first time. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm. So tell us more about a little bit more about what you do before we get into the topic. Okay, basically, I'm a, I'm a pharmacist, and you know the the work of a pharmacist basically is to to, to, to analyze the prescription to to give the to give advice to patients mm -hmm. you know you we monitor the patient at the at the counter level and again we advise the patient on how is supposed to to take the medication mm -hmm. our job basically is to receive the patient prescription from the doctor and then from there we advise way forward on the the way he's supposed to take this medication what is supposed to avoid and uh, the precaution is supposed to, to take in the long term is taking this medication. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. that's the what that's the that's general the work, that is general work of, of, a, of a pharmacist. Of a pharmacist. Yes. All right. That, uh, just out of curiosity. Yes. Uh, out of topic, of yes. course. <laughs> how how do you in school? Yes. Are you taught on how to um, interpret the doctor's handwriting? Because honestly, sometimes you get a prescription from the doctor and you can't read to save your life. You know, if you are to read it, you cannot. But when you go to a pharmacist, they're like, oh, okay. You know, they get it very fast. How do you guys do it? Okay, what happens then? Eh? Uh, immediately you join in a pharmaceutical school or in a, in a medical school, in, in, in medical school. Mm -hmm. At first year level, you know, things get to be well. You know, you are being trained as a normal student. And then now it comes to a situation where there, is, there are those medical terms. Eh? Yeah. You know, we usually follow what we call the initials. The, the initials usually see in the, that prescription. You know, mainly we rely even on the first initial and the last initials. Okay. That is uh, basically the one which gives you an overview of what you are supposed to, to give. And uh, it, it's really difficult for a layman to get to understand the, the read and writing. But uh, <laughs> we're not trapping trained lily on how you're supposed to write. We just write no more. But uh, when it comes to doctor's prescription, we just look at the initials, the first initials and the last initials. Mm. And then from there, we come up with the right. We, we range, you know, we coordinate with whatever we've learned in the, in the class. And then now we find the right term. Okay. The doctor is written. So there. doctors are actually not taught how to have no, bad head writing. No, we are not taught on how to put it. It's not a qualification. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Yes. Fair enough. Yes. What's the difference between a pharmacy and a chemist? Is there yes. any? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. When we talk of uh, in, a Raman, in a Raman language, eh, you know, it's supposed to be called a pharmacy. You know, in, I mean, it's supposed to be called chemist, you know. We find it chemist is just a, a just a broad Raman language being used in the local, mm -hmm. in the local area. Yeah. But a pharmacy, pharmacy, that's the right term. Okay. Yeah, that's the right term, which is supposed. If you just go to the dictionary, you can actually get the difference between pharmacy and a chemist. Mm. And at some point, some they can argue, a pharmacy is, is when you know when you have a company running, you know, a company running like now mine, you can call now my three, my four premises pharmacy. You know, mm -hmm. and then now when it comes to Raymond, Raymond language, you know, that's when now we classify the word chemistry, you know, for the clear understanding of the society. Mm. You know, you know, some, some when you talk of pharmacy, some, especially those people come from rural areas like uh, my, my mother mm. and my dad, they can't get what you're trying to, to, to bring say, across to them. Chemist. So we usually use the word chemistry. At least they are able to, to understand in chemistry level, this is what is supposed to be. These are the services we are supposed to get there. Mm -hmm. But now pharmacy, they look more, you know, more learned, you know. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a term we use, you know, to classify in a field of study that uh, pharmacy is the real term supposed to be used in a, in a, pharma, in, in a, in a pharmaceutical industry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But it's the same person you'd find there. Pharmacist is still the same person you'd find uh, even in our chemists, in, you know, in the rural area. What's... 
people call chemist? Sorry? A pharmacist yes. is still the same person that you will find in a rural chemist. No, we have, there's a difference between a pharmacist and a pharmaceutical technologist. Tell you us know, the difference. A pharmacist is somebody who has graduated with a, a, a degree from the relevant institutions. Mm -hmm. A pharmaceutical technologist is the one who is graduated as a diploma holder from a, a different institution. Mm -hmm. Like now, me, I did, I did now, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did uh, I'm a, pharma, a, pharma, a pharmaceutical technologist, mm -hmm. I'm not a pharmacist. Uh -huh. You see now, yeah, once, once done a diploma. I've done a diploma. And then from there, I realized that uh, outside there, there are so many, so many opportunities. I was interested actually in uh, health system man management. That's how I went up uh, first and I uh, did my degree in uh, health system management. Mm -hmm. So that now together with, with the health system management, together with the, 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 the diploma I have, I can just get outside there, you know, I can just uh, be able to try to navigate and uh, get an opportunity outside there. All right, yeah, great. It has really helped me in matters of management in my premises. And I really feel like, you know, I did the right, I did the right thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll get to how you established, uh, you know, your, the different pharmacies. You have four? Yeah, four. Pha pharmacies. Pharmacies, yeah. That you have, yes. all right. So for someone who's, who wants to study, um, to take this career path, what, what is the expectation? What, what should they expect when they're studying it? Because some are not quite sure what uh, it entails. Okay, what happened? First of all, you know, you need to, you need to know, you know, this, this is something, you know, a pharmacy, if you want, any pharmaceutical industry, this, this is something which comes as a calling. You must, first of all, you must have what to call a, tra a track down of what you want to do in your life. It's something which began a long time ago, when I was in a Form 1, mm -hmm. and uh, it's something I dreamt about. And then, uh, you know, it's something I had a passion in it, and then, you know, it's something you need to have already a passion on it. You need to, you need to establish, you know, between, you know, the career opportunity outside there. Number one, when, when, you, when you are done with uh, Form 4, you need to, to get the, you know, you need to get to speak with those people, you know, the mentor, you know, they need to, you need to speak to them, you need to, to get to know what is this pharmacy entails. So according to me, I can, I can, uh, my advice to young people is when they get, they get out of Form 4, they need to, they need to, they need to seek for those people, the mentorship, good mentorship, you know, good mentorship, mm -hmm. is the one which brings these things on board. You know, like now, I, for instance, when I finished my form four, I had uh, this one person called Dr. Mwenje. Dr. Mwenje comes from Nyeri. Mm -hmm. He was my mentor, actually, and uh, when I passed well, I had to meet him in one of the hotels in Nairobi, and then we had to discuss about uh, my case, and then uh, he had to advise me to go to, to pharmacy, and then I tried to link my, uh, the advice with my, my vision I had, mm -hmm. and then now, it, I, I saw like uh, it's something which can tarry. And then that's how I joined to in a, in a class of pharmacy. Okay. So my advice to young people is uh, you need to get somebody who can mentor them. You need to listen to the ground. You need to, uh, to, 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 need to go to online, uh, try to find out the, the courses which are, uh, sometimes when you are, the world is moving very speed, the high speed. You need to find something you can employ yourself, you know. Mm. And then from there, you know, you, you get a job outside there, working again, and you're trying to employ yourself, I think that's a good deal. Okay. Yeah. So it, um, it's basically understanding the study itself. Yes. You get to understand uh, medicines yes. and all that. Yes. So do you need to be very good in sciences? Very, very, very. You need to be good in uh, mathematics, of course. You yeah. have to do well in mathematics. You have to excel in uh, English. You have to excel in biology. Of course, biology is the, the backbone. Mm -hmm. you, know. you have to excel in uh, chemistry. Physics is not a priority, but uh, you have, if you are doing it of both sciences, you'll have to excel in both sciences for you to, okay. to, be, to be fit in the world in a, in a, in a pharmacy field. All right. Yes. And what are the opportunities that are there when you pursue this career? The opportunities which are there is that, uh, you know, you can, once you're done with pharmacy, you know, you can... Uh, you can work in a in a in a hospital setup, mm -hmm. like uh, let's say for example you've done a pharmaceutical technologist. You can work in an hospital level as a pharmacy assistant. When you have somebody at the at the upper, like as a pharmacist, you can employ yourself 
the, uh, the way I've done right now. You know, I've actually have, a, I have a 12 employees in my premises, mm -hmm. and uh, I pay them well, and, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it's more of uh, employing, creating employment to yourself and the opening market today, the rest of, uh, to the, rest of, the, of, the, of the world. Of the world. Mm. What does it take to um, run your own pharmacy, which is a business, right? Okay. What does it take? Okay, so if you want to run a pharmaceutical industry, number one, you'll have to, let's say, for example, like mine now, like mine is a pharmaceutical, it's a limited company. Limited company in that I'm the director and I'm the CEO there. Mm -hmm. So you need to have all the, 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 all the parameters needed. Like you'll have to register that, that company name under the, under the Nini Sharia House. Mm -hmm. Once you get that uh, that registration certificate, you will have to go to the board, the board pharmacy and the person board of Kenya. Yeah. They're the one now who come to certify. You know, they're the one who come to do what we call. The, this what we call. They come to to your facility. They have a look, and then from then out they certify fully what you are eligible to learn that business or not. Is it profitable? You know, the you being an entrepreneur in this space. Does it, uh, how profitable is it, or do you need to take some time before you realize profits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a pharmace pharmaceutical industry, maybe, uh, let's say, let's call it a premise. It's something you need to be very, very patient with it. It's like just another business around, mm -hmm. you know. You know, once you open, like, for example, let's say, like, you do here, you know, remember, you're not the first person to open that premise there. Uh -huh. So once you open there, there's so so much competition there, and then now, getting now maybe clients who come to buy from your place, you need to be very very patient, uh -huh. like in a span of a year, you know, and which means if you are going to open this premise, you'll have to work from your cash, you know, your pocket. Okay. You know? You'll have to work. You no, know, sometimes, sometimes it, 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 sometimes we pay people from pocket, if we start mm. at at at, the, at that state of uh, starting now, we pay people from our pocket before we realize the profit margin. Yeah, okay. so we need to be very, very patient oh. as we move. And then gradually, I think things work well. All right, yeah. so it, it takes time. And like bearing in consideration that uh, we're not there to make that huge profit. You know, like pharmacy is just a calling. It's like, an, you know, priesthood. Ah. Like, <laughs> like, you know, when you're being called to, to, to serve, you know, like yeah. now the priest has power maybe to lead people into salvation. Mm -hmm. Ours now is also calling. Lead people we, into good health. Yeah, good health now. That's what we're anticipating for. Okay. You know, we need to, when you're trying to trade also, we trade with carefully. And then we look at the, 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 the you know, we, the, 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 the need of the patients being taken care of. All right. Yeah. And um, is that s someone, okay. <laughs> you know how people say, uh, I started off my business with, one shoe and then they yes. made it say yes. I've bought yeah. my first million and and all that yes. for a pharmacy yes d is that for you how how did you start did you have your whole uh pharmacy the first one uh fully you know, packaged uh, mm -hmm. all the shelves full yes. and everything yeah sure sure starting a pharmacy not an easy thing it is something you need to compose yourself is something you need to prepare in time. Like in my case, I think, um, you know, I, I started being mature a long time ago because at uh, school, in a boarding school, you know, initially, you know, our parents used to give us a lot of cash when you, we used to go to school. Uh -huh. Sometimes my parents, they, can, they could have given me into an, uh, you know, as much as, uh, as much as I wanted because I used to perform. So now, you know, during, you know, when we used to close, we come back home, holiday time. Then now it's time now to go back to school. My parents used to give me all, uh, close to 15,000 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I was, I've been around here in town, playing this karata here and there. Sometimes this, those people, they can call me 5,000. Then I go back to school with 10,000. Mm -hmm. So this 10,000, my mom opened me an account, family bank. So when I reached back at school, I used to, this one of the gate man, I used to, ad I used to go and give some 10, if I have let, let's say I have 10,000. I used to give her like 9,000. He went back home, he went uh, to the nearby bank, he banks for me in that family bank. You trusted your 
Yeah, I what used to trust that that, that, that that gate man. Is, he was a good friend of mine. Oh, wow. He used okay. to bank from each and every time I come back home, I'm given some cash, extra cash. I used to bank that one, but mm -hmm. without the knowledge of my mom, because my mom was kinder, you know, very, very strict. So I used to, I, he opened me an, an account, but the account was under my management. So mm -hmm. now I used to bank without a knowledge. Wow. So now when I finished the, my form four, you were given I had the, plenty. I'm, I'm, I'm still loading at how much you were being given when you were still in high school. Yeah, I was being given uh, close to fifteen to 20,000 actually. But that was too much money I was begging for. Actually, it's juicy, but okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, so then uh, from that uh, savings, I actually I started saving in, uh, when I was in school, but, but then from, from, from one, from two, from three, from four, I never used to consume a lot. My 1,000 will even last up to the end of the term. Mm -hmm. So the rest in the bank. Yeah. Like now, I, 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 once I'm there also, I can just take like one month and I call back home. Mm -hmm. Now, the money gave me, it's somebody over. came to my needs over, so I need another money. You don't want to send me some, some cash, I'm going to leave this school, you know. I used to threaten them in a way that, but in a good faith. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's how I used to save actually. I didn't know whether these savings will ever come to help me. Amount to something. Yes. Uh -huh. So now once, when I did my form four and I went back to, to count the check to my account, and then I was like, ah, this is the much I can, I can have in my account. Mm -hmm. And then now from there, my mom, when I came out of the when I came out of school, that's from four joining my, 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 my diploma now in the Technical University of Kenya. My mom now, when I was in first year, actually, I opened this pharmacy. One of the pharmacy, I opened that pharmacy using somebody's name mm -hmm. when I was in first year. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I did when I was in first year in Technical University of Kenya. First year, uh, first, 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 first semester, I opened that pharmacy. It was just, in the, you know, I used, but you know, the, the cost of opening a pharmacy was close to 2.5. In my account, I had like all close to 400,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, then now when I went to the class of pharmacy, two I tried to... 2.5 the cost of opening Yes, it. that is now a standard pharmacy. Million? Yeah, 2.5. Okay. You need to have that close to 2.5. That's now a standard pharmacy. Not the kiosk you see around, maybe if you go, you've go, ever gone to this, uh, you know, The local Mtamta, ones, Zamta, because oh, I was yeah. thinking... <laughs> yes. Here in Zaku, at a 1 million, I don't think it's that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. There is this kiosk you see around, maybe in the town you mm. walk. But we're talking about the big pharmacies, the big especially pharmacies. the ones we see in town. Yes. You know, they're yes. big the names. Yes, the ones you see in town. Mm -hmm. At least something which has everything, you know. When you, just, you can just march in and you can get whatever, whatever, you know. All the drugs are there, yes. yeah. Okay. So it was closer to, I, I think my first premise happened with 2.5, 2.5 mm. million. I had 400,000. Then I spoke to with my mom. Mm -hmm. Then we had this an agreement, and uh, actually, fun enough, that agreement, even my lawyer signed. We had to call one lawyer and uh, sign that agreement, and he sealed that agreement. It's, it's th that, that man, I was to turn back to my mom after, you know, after I've developed myself. So she added me something on top, and then I was in a position to open that premise. But the person who was operating there was already done with the pharmacy. Donor, he was the one who assigned that duty so to operate in that premise. I opened this in, in 20, the pharmaceutical, 2019. Mm -hmm. So now the guy was operating under his name, but it's my premise. Okay. Yes. Wow. So when I finished my, my pharmacy 2019, I just walked in, then I, I, I rewarded the person who was uh, taking care of my, my premise, and then I list the person, though now I was, I was the one in charge now, mm -hmm. before proceeding to my system management. Wow. Yes. Okay. Mm. Quite interesting. You are very, <coughs> I'd say, very ambitious. Yeah. Uh, since uh, from a young age. From a young age. And yeah. uh, since you grown, because when you were joining campus, you mm -hmm. already had your business going. I mean, yes. That's mm. that's quite interesting. Now, mm. see, so okay, let me not compare it, but that that was quite quite something. Mm. You know, for many people, and yes. even youths, um, because we're not just talking about. Yes, it's growth in the uh, pharmaceutical uh, industry, yes. but it can apply to all all other areas and facets of life, uh, especially in career. You know, so what does it take? Uh, because you're very passionate about youth empowerment as well. Mm -hmm. So what, what would you say it takes for one to get from one level to the other? For mo many people, they're like, 
um, let me just uh, wait to get employment, let me just apply for this job and it's not coming forth and Kenya there are no jobs in Kenya so we are struggling and all that. Okay, so okay, my advice to you youths are listening to me outside there, mm -hmm. sometimes employment doesn't come. If you're waiting, maybe you're done with you, maybe your academics, maybe you've done something like maybe they say become, you've done something you school pharmacy, nursing, employment won't come. The best way, you know, it's just all about you need to kujituma. Oh, kujituma is the term. Nowadays, I love the, the <coughs> name Kujituma. It's, yes. It's, really, yeah. it's different. Kujituma. <laughs> kujituma. It's yes. taking initiative, yes. literally. Uh -huh. You love to Kujituma because I realized my dream at the tender age. And again, my parents supported me, even though today, as we're speaking, they're not there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. So but They must have been proud. Yes. So generally, what I'm saying is uh, young people outside there, I just want to give them a piece of advice. Kujituma is the word, as we've said. You love to walk out from that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Just get rid of that comfort zone completely. Use the little resources you have. You can just you can just start from if you've done let's say maybe business management. Business management entails a lot. You know you can just find something outside there to do. You know mm -hmm. instead of just being in the street, just loitering the street. You know maybe harassing other people. You know mm -hmm. you can just find something little to do at least. That's part of you it's know, business. Yeah, that's business. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you know, I'm curious to, to, to see a situation where mm -hmm. this uh, Kanjo people, you know, come away and Gijana when you may more kufanya one to now go in the street. So then come on as a quarters that that such. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe they can just come there, they take some fifty bob because that they call it maybe you near city county. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, you've uh, you would have made your your cash, little cash, you'd have saved like fifty bob. This fifth bob, you could have bought something else. It was stuck into your stock. You know, you need to just wake up, do something, you know, do something constructive outside there. And again, teamwork, you know. Team up with those people who are future oriented. You know, there's so, so many people who are future oriented outside there, especially if you find it, we are in a group of 20 people. And among these 20 people, they are good friends of yours. Nobody is speaking about business. Then walk out of that group. That's mm -hmm. not the best group to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and you see the Kenya we are in right now is being driven by, by the choice. You know, it's being driven by business. You know, as much as you get, you, you, you might be employed somewhere, you'll have to do some businesses. You know, yeah. reaching to your goal, you'll have to do some, some, something out of you, you know, your provision. Someone you know? actually told me that yes. if you want to be rich yes. and, you're and you are in employment, then you will never be rich. No, you these know, people, they pay you. You're just in a comfort zone. They pay you so that you wake up in the morning, you go back there again. Uh -huh. So you need to do something, you know. You need to do something outside there. Mm -hmm. Like now, for me, I'm, I, I worked at Getrude, Mudaiga. And then I went to, to there is a, where I stay in Buruburu. We have, a, we have a branch there called Niami Hospital. I worked there for quite a, two, three months. And then now, currently, I went back to get through some day again. I'm doing contract, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't work in a, in a monthly basis. Okay. I'm doing contract, and then I'm being paid in contract basis. Mm -hmm. and then now, more of the time, energy-wise, I'm a yeka kwa business yangu. Wow. So now, when I'm being paid from the other side, I'm also earning my living from the other side. Wow. And even my people, if they are watching this show, as I'm talking right now, they're happy because I pay them well. Okay. Yeah, if you, you pride yourself care, in that. I pay them well. <laughs> mm, I pay them well. <laughs> All right. Mm. You know, uh, it must be good to be your employee for those that are working under you. Mm -hmm. And it's it's the having different streams of income. Yes. And, uh, you know, you've mentioned so many things. And not being in your comfort zone, taking yes. initiative, going yes. out there, thinking, what can I do? I mm -hmm. do not... Now, um... Just before I ask you that question, there's a question that has been asked, you know, in this particular uh, industry, the mm -hmm. pharmaceutical, who are the ones dominating? You know, is it more male-oriented or female? Okay, now, yeah, that's a good question because, okay, in the, in the pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. they currently, when we talk, you mean in terms of uh, employment or in terms of... Uh, those people have gone to school. Both, both. Both. You can give us both, both. statistics, yeah. Okay. Initially, initially, initially men were dominating in this field, initially. Mm -hmm. But as we speak, you know, male also, female, also people, female ladies, I mean, female, 
Mm -hmm. Good number of females, uh, they've, they've just turn, turned up in good numbers. They are trying to, to, to figure out, they're, they're trying to go outside there, they're trying to compete with men. And in fact, as we're speaking, good number, good number of females, if you go to any uh, pharmaceutical industry like now, the, these training institutions, we have so many females who are undertaking pharmacy. Okay. And according to trust, nowadays we can trust, we can trust, we can trust female, female working in that industry. Okay. Initially, we used to trust men, but the, somehow the there's a problem. Is changing there's a bit. Perception, yeah, changing that way there. Oh, because I now, so. like now in my premise, I'm not being biased, but uh, I just want to be honest. Mm. So men now we need to work up because we are losing. We are losing outside there. Okay. Because of some reason, we need to we need to call ourselves in a meeting.